manufacturing account dear students today let us learn all about manufacturing account manufacturing account is prepared in manufacturing business manufacturing account is prepared in different formats depend account depending upon the requirement of the organization they are a combined trading and manufacturing account manufacturing account showing cost of production and manufacturing account showing profit on manufacturing Manufacturing account indicates the results of the manufacturing department whereas the trading account may help to reflect the results achieved by the sales department manufacturing account is drawn up solely for the purpose of arriving at the actual cost of production of the goods manufactured during a given period sometimes a manufacturing account is prepared with the object of finding out what profit if any has been made by the manufacturing department in any case where separate manufacturing and trading accounts are prepared whereas the manufacturing account would deal with raw materials partly manufactured goods and manufacturing expenses the trading account would necessarily deal with finished goods only combined trading and manufacturing account there are small manufacturing businesses which prepare a combined manufacturing and trading account such an account would naturally include all items dealing with the manufacturing costs and the sales but will fail to indicate the actual cost of manufacturing or the profit made by manufacturing department as a distinct form distinct from the trading results the resultant gross profit as assessed by this combined account would thus include the profit made by manufacturing as also the gross profit on sales form of combined manufacturing and trading account Combined manufacturing and trading account will have on the debit side to stock at commencement, manufacturing goods, work in progress, and raw materials total put in the out column. To purchase of raw materials less returns on the outer column, and again the manufacturing and trading expenses carriage in such as carriage inwards, wages, factory lighting, motive power, factory rent taxes, factory insurance, coal, coke, water, oil, tallow, belting, sundry manufacturing expenses. repairs to factory building repairs to plant depreciation on plant and machinery depreciation to factory building and on the credit side by sales let less returns uh, stock at the end manufacturing goods working progress and raw materials all put together and uh, the difference is termed as gas profit and uh, gross profit including profit on manufacture trade transfer to profit and loss account we close this manufacturing combined manufacturing and trading account like this and then we proceed to b b manufacturing account showing cost of production where the manufacturing account is compiled with the view to ascertain the actual manufacturing cost of the articles produced there would appear on the debit side the opening stock of raw materials and goods in process of manufacture purchases of raw materials and carriage our cartridge there on manufacturing wages and all other expenses relating to factory against these would be set off on the credit side the closing stock of raw material and goods in process of manufacture at actual cost the account would then show neither profit nor loss and the balance representing the actual cost of production of the finished goods would be transferred to the trading account the trading account in this case would stand charged with the cost of the finished goods ascertained as above on the debit side of this account there would also appear finished goods if any and the direct charges thereon on the credit side would be shown the sales and the closing stock of finished goods the difference between the two sides of trading account in this case would indicate the gross profit in ex- inclusive of the profit if any made by the manufacturing department where the manufacturing account is prepared with the object of showing the cost of production the gross profit as indicated as disclosed by the trading account would include manufacturing profit also as also the gross profit on sales form of manufacturing account showing cost of production this has two sets manufacturing account on the debit side to stock at the commencement raw materials partly finished manufactured goods to purchase of raw materials less returns to carry inwards to wages to fa- electricity to factory rent and taxes to factory insurance to water 
to repair the factory building, to repair the plant, to depress the factory building, to depress the national plant. And on the credit side, stock at the end, raw materials, partly manufactured goods, and by cost of production during the period, transfer to the trading account. All the expenses are netted and the closing after deducting closing stock, the cost of production during the period is transferred to trading account. So this it is here. On the trading account debit side to cost of finished products at commencement, cost of production transfer from manufacturing account and then again purchases to purchase the finished products, less returns to carriage inwards, to gross profit transfer to profit and loss account by netting off by sales less returns by stock at the end of finished products. This is how the manufacturing account showing the cost of production. All the costs are included in the cost of production during the period transfer to trading account. In a large manufacturing concern where so many varied factors enter into the cost of production of the articles manufactured, it is highly desirable that the proprietors should be able to see for themselves as to what profit is made by their manufacturing department apart from the profit earned by the sales department. This is necessary in order to ascertain whether the manufacturing department has justified for its existence. For it need hardly be mentioned that it would be no use to continue with this department if it is found that the goods cannot be produced at a profit, that is, at anything less than their current purchase price. The current price in this case would mean the price at which similar articles can be bought from the market. In this case, however, instead of the difference between the two sides being shown as a balance representing the cost of production of finished goods, the finished products during the year would be valued at the current trade price and the amount thus arrived at will be debited to the trading account and credited to the Manufacturing. The manufacturing account will now serve to indicate the profit or loss on manufacturing and the difference on this account will be transferred to the profit and loss account. This will close the manufacturing account. The trading account in this case will stand charged with the trading pro price of the finished products for the purpose of sale. The results thus indicated by the trading account after the other usual debits and credits are given would signify the true gross profit made by the department. Where the manufacturing account is prepared with the object of showing the profit made by the, made on the manufacturing, the gross profit as in disclosed by the trading account would indicate the gross profit on sales. Form of manufacturing account showing profit on manufacturing. Manufacturing account showing profit on manufacturing will show on the debit side to stock at commencement raw materials partly manufactured goods, to purchase of raw materials, less returns, to carriage inwards, to wages, to factory electricity, to factory rent and taxes, to factory insurance, to water, to sundry marketing expenses, to repairs to factory building, to repairs to plant, to depreciation on factory building, to depreciation on plant. And on the credit side, it will have by stock at the end, raw materials, partly manufactured goods, and by the trading price of finished products transferred to trading account. Then after netting, we will arrive at the gross profit on manufacturing trading transfer to profit and loss account. So on the trading account showing gross profit on sales, we will have the stock of finished products at the commencement to manufacturing account trans tra transfer of trade price finished goods from the manufacturing account to purchase of finished goods finished products, less returns, to carriage inwards, and on the credit side, by sales, less returns, by stock at the end, finished products, by netting it, we will have the gross profit on sales transferred to profit and loss account. Let us discuss about few items that take place in the manufacturing account, raw materials and stores. This item would denote purchases of raw materials and stores and will appear on the debit of the manufacturing account. Right carriage or cartage and dock charges, if any, on the purchase of raw materials must also be shown in the manufacturing account. As raw materials and stores are held by a manufacturing concern, not for the purpose of resale in their original condition, but to be utilized in the process of manufacture, the basis of valuation usually adapted is the cost price. The cost price for this purpose 
would be the net invoice price plus freight, duty, carriage, inverts, etc. Under ordinary circumstances, even if the market price has fallen below the cost, the value of raw materials and stores in stock need not be brought down to the level when, however, the fall in the market price is appreciably heavy so as to affect the selling price of the manufactured products, it would be desirable to value these, product, these pro products at market price. Materials consumed This item generally appears on the debit of the manufacturing account. It is arrived at by taking the figure of opening stock of raw materials, adding that to the purchase of during the period and the deduction from the total the cost the closing stock of raw materials production wages in the absence of any information to the contrary the item of wages in a manufacturing concern would always mean manufacturing wages and would find its place in the manufacturing account in case of a trading concern the item would appear in the profit and loss account wages if any due to the end of the financial period and are not paid should be brought into account as an outstanding liability. Wages paid to workmen who may have been employed in manufacturing, loose tools or plant, or on erection of plant, or in making extensions to works per premises, are allowed to, to be capitalized and should be charged to this account. Non-productive wages Non-productive wages are the wages of shop cleaners, repairers, night watchmen, storekeepers, etc. Such wages are debited to manufacturing account under the subhead factory expenses. Work in progress. Work in progress in a manufacturing concern, the item of work in progress would mean goods in process of manufacture, whereas in case of contractor, the same expression would mean work partly executed but not completed. Where a separate managing manufacturing account is prepared, work in progress at commencement will appear on the debit under that at the end of the financial period will appear on the credit side of the manufacturing account. Great care should be taken in valuing work in progress, basis of valuation considered as sound and correct and the one, and the one that is generally followed in practice is the cost of raw materials and direct wages plus a reasonable proportion of works on cost that is manufacturing expenses. Finished products the basis for the valuation of finished products should be the actual factory cost as in case of partly finished goods. It is always sound and prudent not to add any percentage in respect of on cost. An important point to be borne in mind while valuing finished and partly finished products is that if the actual cost of these exceeds their market price, the market price should be the basis of valuation and not the cost price. Where a manufacturing account is prepared, quite distinct from the trading account, the opening and closing stocks of initial products will appear on the debit and credit sides of the trading account and not in the manufacturing account, as the latter account is supposed to deal with raw materials and the working process of manufacture and the trading account with finished products. Royalties In a manufacturing concern, this item would signify amounts paid to the patentees for the right to use their patents in connection with manufacturing processes. In a publishing business, the same item would mean amounts paid to others for the right to print, publish and sell their books. In a mining business, this item signifies amounts paid to the lessor by the lessee of a mine for the right to work the mine. Where a separate manufacturing or working account is prepared, this item would be charged to such an account, but in the absence of such account, and the amount would appear as a debit in the trading account. Manufacturing expenses are factory charges. Under this head are generally included all the various expenses which have a direct bearing on the running of the factory or works, such, a factory, such as factory rent, factory insurance, motive power, engine room stores, non-productive wages, factory lighting, repairs of plant, depreciation of plant, etc. Where a separate manufacturing account is prepared, all such expenses will be charged there to, otherwise they will be charged to the trading account. In the next lecture, we will discuss about the various adjustments prior to and at the time of preparing final accounts.